Hello YouTube, welcome back to the next video in the Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting series. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about how to use comments. And if you're following along with the book, this is in chapter two. So we're going to start out by creating a script as we've always done. And now I'm going to explain what a comment is. So you guys know how when you're reading a book, sometimes there's like a margin, right? Like in the left or right side, there's a margin. And in that margin, we can write notes to ourselves. So for example, if I'm reading a book and I find something really interesting, I can write down something in the margin. And that's like a comment. It's like a note that I'm leaving for myself, right? So that's exactly what a comment is. So a comment is basically a note that you can leave to yourself when you're writing in code. So to make a comment, we use this dash right here. And we need two of these dashes, so watch closely. One dash, two dash. And as you can see, it turned gray. So this means that I'm writing a comment. And remember that a comment is just a note that you're writing. So for example, I can write, hello, hi, and none of this, none of this is gonna throw an error because this script right here, it knows that I'm writing a comment because of these two lines. And this is literally just a note that I'm writing. So I can say something like, this code prints hello world into the output. And there's no errors and everything will work fine. So if I click view and output, it's just gonna print hello world. This script will not even know that this comment exists. It's not even gonna look at it. It's not even gonna care. For example, if someone else is looking at this code, then this comment would be useful for them too. So this is for me and it's for anyone else who looks at this code. So I'm gonna click play and it's gonna print hello world and nothing else because this is just a comment for this script. This comment is like, it's not even there. This script doesn't even know there's a comment there. This script only knows there's a print hello world there. But me and you, we know that there's a comment here. When the script runs this code, it's only gonna see this print hello world. It's never even gonna see or think about this. And I can write some more code. I can say, wait three seconds, maybe. I can say print goodbye world. And I can describe what this wait three seconds is doing. So let's say I forgot what this wait three did. I can just say, the below line of code waits three seconds. So as I'm reading this code, I can see that this, this comment right here, it says the below line of code waits three seconds. That means that that's what that thing does. And the code below prints goodbye world. Let's say that two years down the road, I completely forgot scripting and then I opened this. And this is what I saw. Well, even if I didn't know what print hello world meant, even if I didn't know what wait did, I can just read the comments. I can say this code prints hello world to the output and that will jog my memory. So after I read this, I can figure out, oh, that's what this does. If I read this, I can figure out, oh, this means wait three seconds. So that is how comments work. Now, let's say you're writing a really, really, really long comment. So for example, let's say I was writing, hi, this is some really, really long, 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 long comment. And it's really important and I need you to see this. Well, now we have a horizontal scroll bar, this thing right here. We have to scroll this to see the rest of our comment. That's not what I want to do. I want this comment to show up in another line. So I can just press enter and oh no, what happened? So the reason that this script is giving us errors all over here with these red lines, as you can see, is because this is now no longer a comment because we don't have this anymore. So to make this a comment, we need another one. Now I have multi-lined comments. Now that's all fun and nice, but if I want to continue writing more comments, I need these two dashes for every single line of comments that I'm writing. And that's very annoying. I don't want to do that. So they invented a way to write multiple line comments. And to do that, all we need to do is put two brackets after these two dashes. So to write a multiple lined comment, which is what I'm about to do right now, you need the two dashes. This means single line comment. So that basically means this whole line, line seven right here is gonna be the comment. And if you put brackets here, bracket, bracket, then everything in between these brackets is gonna be the comment. So I can take these two brackets and I can move them over here. And Roblox now sees that all of these lines seven through 12 are all comments. And I can write anything. And it can span across multiple lines. And Roblox sees all of this as a comment. And that is because of these brackets right here and these brackets right here. Now, if I write print hello world, Roblox sees this as actual code because this is outside of these brackets. So remember that if you want to write single line comments, you're going to want these two dashes right here. And if you want to write multiple line comments, you're going to want two dashes and two brackets. So one more time, single line comments that is with two dashes and multi line comments which is a single line comment, but with brackets. So now inside of this, I can type whatever I want. And Roblox sees this as a comment. 
ha ha and ha okay guys that is it for this video if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in the next video